Welcome to Talk Across America. I'm Doug Miles, and we're here in beautiful Sarasota, Florida. And joining us now, great to welcome a woman who's written a very helpful book. It's called Retirement Reinvention. Actually, make your next act your best act, Retirement Reinvention. We're joined by uh, Robin Ryan, a job expert. She's been on all the talk shows, and we've seen her on television and on radio. We're happy to welcome her today by telephone. Robin, good to talk with you. How are you? I am terrific. Forgive the voice a little bit. I'm dealing with some allergy issues. I know you just overcame a bit of a health thing, so I'm glad we could reschedule today. So uh, thanks for being with us. Yeah, well, and you know, one of the things is there's so much to talk about. There's so many exciting things that people can be doing when they retire. So I'm glad we're able to have these few minutes to share some ideas. I know you just talked before we, uh, we started recording uh, the, our conversation that uh, your parents uh, live down here in our area, Sarasota, Brandon. So you, you're familiar with the air. Of course, it's a great retirement community or retirement area, but you're familiar with it, right? Absolutely. I spend every waking moment at the beach when I'm visiting because I love the beaches there. <laughs> well, let's talk about it. retirement is kind of a, a word people will say, oh, I'd love to, you know, eventually retire and uh, when it happens, whatever age it is. But it's changed a lot, hasn't it? The, the thought of it and what actually has to go into it uh, in the last 10 or 15 years. Absolutely. And the, the big thing is that 10,000 baby boomers are retiring every day. And our parents' retirement, you know, where we don't do anything, it's just a life of leisure, um, that's not enough for the baby boomers. A lot of them, 72%, want to have some kind of fun job or they want to volunteer and give back. And, of course, Florida is full of snowbirds. My parents were snowbirds. Um and, and they're there to en not only enjoy the weather, but meet new people and do new activities, whether that's bicycling or rowing or uh, maybe even water skiing. You name it, they want to try new things. I guess you, know, you have to kind of look at it nowadays. Uh, I think your parents, and I know my dad, uh, uh, was at a job. He was in the banking business, and he was fortunate enough to stay there for uh, 42 years and got a nice pension and all that. But unfortunately, uh, a lot of people, particularly baby boomers, maybe of today's uh, uh, you know age group, uh, don't have that option. So that really changes how they look at retirement, right? How, how are you going to fund it? Well, I don't focus on the financial aspect, but I do right. focus on how to find a fun job. And that could be a paid job. It can be anything from, you know, a few hundred dollars a month to a few thousand a month. But again, there's those over 60 entrepreneurs, and uh, they are starting big businesses. Their eyes are on the prize of making a hundred or two hundred thousand dollars a year and replacing the lifestyle that they had. Most of those businesses seem to be service businesses, and I talk about that in the book, too, and give you, you know, there's over 200 stories and examples, lots of ways to inspire your listeners so that they can improve their life and make it better. And I know you also talk in the book, very important, uh, deciding where you're going to live, obviously. Uh, so many people in Florida has always been the place people thought of as retirement. Maybe the majority. Now you see more people go out west or uh, maybe uh, northwest or you know, different parts of the country. But uh, you really have to kind of plan that out, don't you? I know you give some uh, keys in the book of figuring out how much it's going to cost wherever you go. Well, I talk about how much it's going to cost, but there's also the emotional factor. When you leave your home, you leave behind all your friends, your network, your doctor, your churches, the community you've known all your life. You're starting over. So just plopping yourself in a, a, a new house in the middle of Florida is not necessarily a good thing if you don't have a plan as to how am I going to make new friends? How am I going to meet new people? What kind of hobbies do I want to be involved? Involved with what kind of uh, volunteer work do I want to do and there's a nice organization called meet up and that's a great way to find an interest and find a lot of people that are doing it in your area but planning out that move in fact the worst thing you can do is retire today and move next week <laughs> it's just too much change and the people that do that really quickly regret it and find that that it was much 
bigger than they thought. They lost too much. They lost all their connection with work, and they lost all their connection with friends. And so uh, really thinking it through, maybe renting someplace for a little bit, and then slowly making those changes. Much better way to plan out retirement that way. Yeah, you have uh, one chapter in the book, which uh, is very important, to what called Transitioning. You know, it takes a little time to uh, to get used to you know, not having to get up at six, 6 in the morning every day for a while, right? you got to take a little buffer, I guess. Oh, well, the first thing people say they want to do is throw up the alarm clock, right. and I'm right with them. But <laughs> if you don't have a plan, you might become a failed retiree where you're sitting home all day watching game shows. Couch potato. This is a lot of people's greatest fear. It's why they keep working. And, you know, companies are forcing layoffs. There's volunteer packages for retirement. One week you wake up, you're working. Four weeks later, you're retired. You need a plan, and that's the first part of the book talks about how do you create that plan? What's your life going to look like? And really thinking those things through so that, you know, when you do retire, it's very meaningful. And the other piece of this is what about giving back? If you donated just five to ten hours a month, think about the amazing difference us baby boomers could make. And don't tell me, oh, in Florida, they don't want the sunbirds to give back. (laughs) There's so many opportunities. Just find one that appreciates your skill. Maybe it's something you do for a charity up north, and then you just follow through and do it at the same charity when you are in Florida. See, there's just lots of ways you hadn't thought about before. Now, how about, Robin, uh, you know, if you need to get a job as a retired person, maybe you just to uh, make extra money, or maybe some people, unfortunately, need to work to you know, pay their bills and still work somehow. How, how is the job market for uh, retirees? I mean, is there, is there a stigma still, or how do you go about that? Oh, nope, it's changing, because now that we have full employment, employers are desperate for workers, and they will craft hours. So you want to work during the day, they'll give it to you. You want to just work weekends, you can have that. You only want to work Monday, Wednesday, and Friday mornings, they'll do that too. So uh, there's a lot of options. We see retailers, we see online organizations through staffing agencies, which pay more. In fact, a really good part-time job is, you know those ones in Walmart and Costco and Sam's where they're demonstrating the food? Right. They're getting paid $20, $25 an hour. So stop laughing at them and realize <laughs> that's $150 for one day. And that is, that's a lot better than 10 bucks an hour minimum wage. Think about the difference. That's well, good to hear. I'm not, I'm not quite at retirement yet. I've got a few years to go, but um, I'm late baby boomer age, so that's good to know. So there, there's, there's hope for us younger baby boomers, right, <laughs> to find work. Well, you know what? People, people are retiring in their 50s and their 60s, and keep it this way. The 60s are the go-go generation. The 70s are the slow-go generation, and the 80s are the no-go generation. So for two, for two decades, you can have a very, very active lifestyle, but you've got to plan it out. you got to be open to new things and flexible and uh, going on and taking some classes. You can go to college for free, maybe even earn a degree. So there's so much ahead of you. The best days are certainly not behind you. You're living your best days right now. And, and I learned that when I went through breast cancer. you got to take advantage sure. of the days that you have. I was going to say, you just mentioned it, you know, don't be afraid to go back to school if you like. I mean, uh, I went to school a second for a second degree, and I was, I thought maybe I'd be the only one in my age group there, but there were a lot of people, older people when I went about 10 years ago, so that's, that's not unusual. I didn't go for free. I didn't Florida, go for free, but... Uh, Florida State School, <laughs> State school offered them the opportunity to go to college for free. They need to call the registrar and ask about it. It's not something they're going to find advertised. You call the university, and has to be the public universities, call and ask, what about classes for free for people over 60? And they'll tell you all about it and how to register. And there's so many offerings that you could go to school for the next 20 years and not repeat a class. That's good good advice, and it's filled with great advice. This book called Make Your Next Act Your Best Act, Retirement Reinvention. And uh, Robin Ryan has been our guest today. And Robin, I know you have a website. Give that out if you would. People get more information about uh, the book. Yeah, and there's resources there. It's called MyRetirementReinvention.com. MyRetirementReinvention.com. The book's also available on Amazon. 
Barnes & Noble, Books A Million. So whatever way you want to get it, it will certainly help you. Great. Robin, pleasure talking to you. I'm glad we can reschedule. Forgive uh, my voice today, but I'm glad we had a chance to talk, and uh, hopefully we can do it again, and uh, maybe we'll meet you up one of these days when you come down to Brandon, if, if you head this way again. Sounds good. Thank you for joining us today on Talk Across America. Please visit our website at DougMilesMedia.com for more great interviews and content. And if you're interested in any of the books we talk about on the program, please click the Amazon link on our website. It helps support the podcast. Thanks for listening. We'll see you again real soon here from beautiful Sarasota, Florida. I'm Stan Brock. 30 years ago, I formed Remote Area Medical to help people overseas. But then we found generations of families in America, isolated by poverty from the health care they need. Together, we can take dental, vision, and medical help to a million adults and their kids, right here at home in the United States of America.